let's take a look at uh, my math lab features once you get into your course it should look something similar to this it'll be slightly different depending upon whether you're in college algebra or intermediate algebra or so forth but uh, it should be the same idea there's a course home it kind of brings you back to this page there's the homework link if you click the homework link this brings you up the homework um, that you're to work on and um, there'll be due dates here so forth initially all the homework will be open to begin with so and don't be overwhelmed by that it looks like well there's a huge amount of homework that's due right away it's not I open it up in advance all of it so you can work ahead if you want and that'll be the same with tests. I open those up uh, so you can work ahead if you want. If I look at uh, section 2.1 through 2.3 here, let me click that as an example. Then it'll pop up with the different questions. Now if I click question 1, it'll come up loading. Okay, it says uh, solve the equation, check your solution. And you see there's a blank down here. This is where you put your answer. Um, so let me put in uh, 7. Okay, so I worked the problem on, uh, on paper, and I put in what I think the answer is, and then I say check answer. And if you input it wrong, it says, sorry, that's not correct. And it says to solve it, write a series, blah, blah, blah. Let's all the different instructions. So you, you think, oh, okay, well, maybe it's something else. Um... Let me get in there. There we go. Put four in. And by the way, if you want to do weird math symbols, uh, they're all over here. Like here's a square root. Here's the fraction. So different, uh, different ones you can do. Okay. So let me just click check answer. It says sorry, that's not correct. And let me do a final check. So you get three tries. <clears throat> then it comes back and tells you your answer. Okay. Well, I got that one wrong, but let me go to number two. Maybe I'll do better on that one. Okay, so if I um, solve this, okay, take negative 6 over, comes positive 6, that's negative 24, uh, divide by 4 is negative 6. Okay, so we put in negative 6, and click check answer. When you get your answer correct, it'll say well done. Okay, let me go to number three, and I'll put in 8 as my answer. Click check answer. Sorry, not correct. Let's say I have no clue how to solve this particular one. You know, I could try to put in two other answers. It wouldn't do me good. There's this option over here that says help me solve this. So I click that. And it'll take those uh, that problem you're just working on. And it'll walk you through exactly what you need to do. Okay. Uh, first one, I select what property to use to addition. Okay. And if you get it wrong, uh, it'll tell you. Okay, use addition property equality and subtract 2 from both sides to isolate the term. So 7 minus 2 is 5. Well done. And I use the multiplication property. What number should both sides of the equation be divided by to isolate y? And that'd be 20. It's important as you're going through this, you actually understand the steps. Because then you can apply those later on. And it says... Um, then write your answer simplified. 5 20 reduces to 1 fourth. So put 1 in, put 4 in, click check answer, well done. Okay, and then close. Now what it does is it does not just give me the points. It keeps me on the same problem but just changes numbers. So I then can work it myself. Uh, I think that's 2 thirds. Uh, 10, 15, let's see, yeah. Now, in some of these, uh, you'll have view an example. You can view an example on that. There's animation, textbook. Uh, some of these have videos. And um, I couldn't tell you which ones have videos. I'm not seeing any right here. But some of these have little videos you can watch. Now, I can even go back to number one that I missed and click similar exercise and work it again. And then say check answer. And they'll say good job and, and I get the full points for that so in theory you can do these over and over until you get 100% on the uh, homework assignment if you want and there's no limit of that you can keep redoing similar exercises all day long um, to, to work those that's the homework and um, I'll just click clo close this 
And this might be one of the videos. See how it says video available? That's question five, has a video. Quizzes and tests. If I click this, here's the uh, chapter one test. And as you can see, you have quite a few attempts to try. You can try it over and over. Um, it's unlike homework, it doesn't allow you to redo a problem. Um, so you put your answer in. If you get it wrong, you get it wrong. You have to retake the entire test to do it. Uh, let's see. Study plan I don't use. Here's the grade book. If you look at the grade book, this will show you your grades. Let me click that. So you can see that I got uh, 6 right out of 26. got that percentage. And um, you can say show overall score. That shows where you're currently at. Go to results. Um, you can show all assignments. You can do the drop down here. Just look at quizzes, tests, midterm, final exam. Author and action videos. Uh, videos, videos by the author. Um, uh, video notebook. Student solutions manual. Um, chapter contents. This is the um, actual book. The book's out here, along with uh, additional resources. So if I click uh, section 1.1, you see there's a multimedia e-text. Um, tools for success. Different items here, graphing calculator, um, more a huge amount of material. Now, don't be overwhelmed by this. Don't think that you need to review each one of these and understand each one of these links. As you can see, you should just dive right in to begin with and start working a problem. Start understanding the system. And uh, then if you find you need more help, you can uh, start going through here and see, see what uh, resources are available. Um, multimedia library. Even uh, Pearson Tutor Services. I don't think I think you have to pay for that though. Uh, discussions I don't use, and that's uh that's my math lab, and um, you can uh, access this directly by going to coursecompass.com or you can use the link in uh, Blackboard to come over to here.